Hello, uh, my name is Ron Woodall. I'm a park ranger here at Bonneville Dam. Uh, we're here today over at uh, Powerhouse Number 2 on the Washington side uh, in our fish viewing building. And uh, we'll be talking a bit about the fish ladder and uh, how fish are able to climb it successfully and uh, to be able to get over from the front of the dam to the back of the dam. They're able to utilize the fish ladder to climb up 60 feet progressively uh, over to get to the back of the dam. So we're outside right now uh, at uh, Powerhouse 2 in the fish viewing building uh, and this area down below me is where the fish come through uh, as part of the fish ladder. Once they're done climbing up the ladder portion with the steps uh, where the high flow part is, this channel here is almost like a smooth sailing area. And this uh, part down here where it gets dark and only about two feet wide, that is where the fish counter uh, station is uh, below. Her office is set inside of the fish viewing building and uh, she has a clear window that's uh, well lit and allows her to be able to see all of the fish coming through. Irene Nelson. Uh, I'm counting the uh, fish that go through and the reason I'm counting is uh, we're trying to get the uh, wild fish population back up so I have to distinguish between hatchery fish and wild fish and also they regulate the fishing season by what fish go through this window. The other big point uh, that a lot of people will miss coming here to the fish ladder is that uh, even though this structure is literally set in stone, the work that we're doing here is, uh, is not set in stone figuratively. We're constantly taking that data from the fish count and uh, observations from biologists that are here on staff and on site from other agencies that monitor how the fish get up the ladder and uh, the other different types of animals too, like the uh, Pacific lamprey. We take that data and we see how we can modify things between the flow rate or uh, the structure itself. One of the newest additions uh, that we have made to this fish ladder is there's a rectangular box over here in the distance uh, in the top right of the camera field and uh, that rectangular box uh, runs throughout the fish ladder and that uh, is something new that we've added to help the lamprey to get through the fish ladder. The Pacific lamprey resembles kind of an eel uh, in its structure. It's a very long, slender, snake-like body and uh, they have a particularly difficult time swimming up the fish ladders. And uh, so this structure that we've added, uh, and I believe it came online uh, last year, and uh, it allows them to use their mouths to crawl up that uh, metal panel uh, and to get over the back of the dam. So we're over here at the main, uh, towards the main entrance of the fish ladder and just gonna speak briefly on how we manage uh, sea lions and other predators out here. Uh, that's a pretty big uh, topic of discussion and uh, with sea lions it can be a rather controversial or contentious topic. But um, one of the biggest things that you know we're managing is an endangered species and the passage of it. So endangered trumps even the protected animals. Uh, some of that in that case being uh, some of the sea lions that come up here. We get two types of sea lions, the uh, California and the Stellar. Uh, both of them, their natural habitat is not the Columbia River. So they can make a pretty big impact in the salmon runs. And one way to help control them, uh, the first part involves putting a gate in front of the fish ladder entrance. And if you look out over here to the distance, at the front of the pier, you'll see a gate that's lifted up. And that, sea, that gate is uh, lowered down when the sea lions do come up here, uh, mainly in the spring, so March through May typically, we'll start seeing them. They leave in May. Uh, to go mate uh, elsewhere, but they're coming up here and it's typically males that are coming up to fatten themselves up. 